how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw half Venom, half Carnage. It's just gonna be the head. It's really, really cool. I think I, it's a, an amazing pose, to be honest, and it's worth learning how to draw. So we're gonna go through it step by step by step. Even if you're a beginner, you should be able to get this, all right? Let's do it. Gonna add a little bit of color as well, not much. Gonna go right here and I'm gonna draw a line down over here for the eye area of uh, kind of Venom's eye. Might pull this down a little bit. The camera might be a little high. I think it might be a little high. Let me move the camera a little bit. All right, there you go. Gonna go over here, curve up over here for the Venom's giant eye. Pull down here, kind of wavy it, maybe make it wavy on the way down. Down over here curve out. The cool part about Venom is this shape can be many different things, but just try to keep that curve up and try to make it pointing to the top. Let's go over here for the Carnage Eye. If you want, you can make it a little bit wilder. He's known to be more erratic, so you could go kind of up here in a spike, maybe down here in a spike um, for contrast, and just kind of make it wiggly all the way up over here. Generally, you know what I mean? And then you just kind of wiggle it all the way down. He's a little more erratic, so you can make it something like that. Let's go over here to the smile. I mean, really, it's just like a gradual smile. And let's draw the teeth. You can draw those all the way across. Just kind of try to change up the shape a little bit here and there, nothing wild. Curve out here for the tongue. Maybe out over here a little bit more. It's gonna be as long as you want, but then I'm gonna to try to give it a, you know, uh, more thickness. Line over here in. Right on. Let's go to the top of both our heads over here. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pull up over here for the side of his head. Curve around the top, which might go off the drawing here. Pull down. Okay, I'm going to curve around the other side. So, so far it just feels like we're, we're drawing, you know, regular venom. But we're not. I'm going to go over here to the jaw over here. Out over here, down, curve underneath, over here the other side. And we're going to try to keep them as uniform as we can. So far, it looks like regular Venom for the most part. I'm going to go right here, draw some teeth underneath. Really just a regular zigzag line is all you need. Same thing over here. And for the most part, we're going to do this all the way up over here on this side. Go over here, pull line down for the neck, down for the neck, and then out over here, out over here. Okay. Now comes uh, some differences, all right? So the differences are gonna be, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a straight line down this right now. It just doesn't have to be totally straight. You can wiggle it all the way down. Wiggle it all the way down if you want. So now here are the changes, right? Let's go in and start with Venom side over here. I'm gonna grab a thicker black marker. You don't have to do this by the way, but I am gonna do it because I just think it's uh, kind of necessary, but I'm gonna grab a little bit of a thicker, dark, a darker marker here. Something near black, it doesn't have to be totally black, but I want it to be thick because I'm gonna try to fill in a large shape over here. Go over here, and like I said, you don't have to do this. You can probably do this with pencil, with like through shading, but I'm gonna fill in a lot of this side. Filling that in. 
Be careful when you use these. You want to air out the room a little bit. So we're, we're leaving this line of white on the outside right here. You can leave a line right there to the teeth as well. It'll give it like, it'll give it a little bit more information. You don't want to, that absence of information. Over here on the bottom, over here. Same thing, leaving that line over there on the right. Like leaving a, like a thick line, it would make a bit of difference. Let's go to the neck. Same thing. You're leaving these lines again, so you can tell there's a chin there, right? Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to tell there's like even a chin. That, that's kind of you know like when you're when the outfit is black, it's always kind of harder to tell, right? When it's a pitch black outfit, that's why it's hard to uh, do Miles Morales sometimes because of that. And maybe leave a couple of lines here for some veins along the neck. Not necessarily, but it could help. Like so. Okay. That's one side. Now, um, let's do the carnage side. I'm gonna use the same marker a, a bit and there's gonna be a little bit of blending over over here. So, carnage's eyes, big difference right here, is cover, uh, I mean, the, the area around it is very bolded with black. By the way, don't forget, if you like learning how to draw, I draw three I, I, you know, teach three different uh, lessons every single day on different topics from dinosaurs to, uh, by the way, I'm just tracing the outside of this, uh, just giving it a thick line, from dinosaurs to Marvel to um, Among Us, Sonic, all of this stuff, um, join it. It's awesome. You will love it. I'm going to, and here's the other big difference with Carnage, his teeth are black. His teeth are filled in black. But you don't want to miss out, so hit the subscribe button and you will see that. You might want to separate these teeth out a little bit. Just kind of try to keep that separation there because sometimes it might not it might not happen, you know? And you can always leave a little bit here or a little lines. And the rest of them, honestly, you can draw the like little, make sure there's room for it, but you can draw little lines just kind of floating around black lines they're just kind of all over the place same thing over here underneath mostly his teeth and his eye area are black and everything else just kind of wiggles around down to like this red area like we're eating below his neck over here you can kind of just draw like lines not not bunched up all over the place but they have to kind of vaguely follow the structure but you can kind of draw him all over the place because he's such a wild card, right? He's such a wild character. <sighs> right on. All right. And I guess we can fill in this side of Venom, like inside the mouth, because there's going to be the pit of the mouth in there. Why well, are you not going to see as much light? Mm. Right on. Maybe even here a little bit. All right. Cool, cool. Now let's do the red of uh, Carnage there. The red of Carnage is going to be, get the red marker here. Uh, if you want me to color more, hit the like button. Uh, I'll definitely do it more or absolutely kind of tell me. You got to tell me though. Otherwise I won't know. Let's see this, how much is left in this red marker. Ooh, there's not much in that. Let's see. There's another, I think there's another red I have over here. One minute. This one's red. Looks orange, but it's red. Cool. And I have to be careful. Okay, that's the cool part. These don't really smear with the marker. If you use those Crayola markers, they totally smear. Totally smear. These don't really smear too bad. They smear a little, like I can see a little fuzziness happening, but not too horribly. Because because some of the other ones we've used like the Crayola markers um, with color. I use the Crayola markers for the marker part sometimes, but that's about it. Um, because they're just way too smeary, the, the Crayolas. These, these don't smear that much. They're kind of made to do this a lot more, even when they interact with other markers, which is wild. And I'm just kind of making a quick pass over here. This red marker is a little darker than I'd like. 
I would like a dark, a lighter red, but you know what? It's gonna work for this, it's fine. You want that huge differentiation between the two of these guys. Please do me a favor. If you wanna help the channel out and help us grow, uh, share the video. Sharing is caring. Share it with a friend that you think might like it or share it on a forum or anything like that. That helps a lot. I wanna thank you very much for helping me out, guys, and you are amazing. So thank you so much. I will see you in the next video, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Let me put it right here, in the, right on that border. Ooh, you know one thing I forgot about, the tongue. Wait, we're not leaving yet then in that case. We're not leaving yet then in that case. I'm gonna pull out a pink for the tongue. I did not even cover that, that's wild. Again, just doing these quick passes. Nothing too wild. I guess you could throw a little bit of pink in the mouth there. Nothing. But uh, it's it's cool because sometimes you can be kind of messy with this, and it's fine if you have the general uh, framework down. It'll it'll absolutely work. Let's put a little uh, blue here in the eye, or purple, red in the eye over here. This marker looks blue, but I can't purple. Uh, be aware of that when you guys. If you guys color these. Anyways, that's it. I want to thank you very much and I'll talk to you next time. All right. Say hi to me in the comments and stay positive artists. All right. And if you want to keep learning how to draw and keep pushing your skills, go right here to this video on here on this side. Um, that video I put because it's the exact same theme as the video you just saw. And it kind of, I like it as a bit of a pair. So absolutely go check that out right now, another short video.